our typical approach with that is first, we want to make sure that your current pain is coming still from the fat pad because we've had this happen a few times where patients have undergone treatment, surgical resection, surgical repair, uh, debridement of the fat pad, their pain gets better for a while and then their pain comes back. And when we do a physical exam, the pain generators are actually something different. We don't think the fat pad is involved. And so we then pivot a little bit and we say, okay, it actually seems more like your uh, medial collateral ligament or your patellar tendon. And so we treat those and those patients get better. And the way that we think about that is everybody was really hyper-focused on this fat pad and the fat pad actually got better, but the patient was still in pain and everybody just attributed it to the fat pad when it actually wasn't. Now that's a smaller percentage of the time. A lot of times what we just find is that it's still the fat pad that's causing issues and the current treatments for it just have not helped address some of the underlying metabolic things that are occurring. 